Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts and in this week's video we're going to dive into how do you change the fiscal year start of a date field in Tableau Desktop. Um, we're going to look at four different methods. Let's dive into the data source method. So this is uh, if you want to change the fiscal year start of all of your date fields at once, let's say you got five or ten date fields, you can do that by just right clicking on the name of your data source, going to date properties, and one of the options in this date properties breakout window is fiscal year start. So I can hit the drop down there. Let's say I'm on a federal fiscal year. I select October. I say OK. And now notice that all of my column or my uh, the names on my axis shifted from like 2020 to FY 2020. Um, so that is nice. Uh, that's one option. Now, I'm actually going to hit the back arrow because while I like that option and that can be helpful, it could also be a little bit restrictive if you ever want to kind of have a blend of, hey, some of my worksheets and some of my dashboards use the calendar year and some of them use fiscal year. This is going to handcuff you to only being able to use fiscal year. Okay. So a different option there, like let's say you just have a single field that you would want to apply the fiscal year uh, start change to. Uh, so in that case, I would go to that field like order date in my data pane and hit this drop down. I go to default properties and then there's a fiscal year start breakout. Now, I guess I, one thing I should mention, whether you're using the data source method, whether you're using this method, when you're changing a fiscal year start uh, by default, you are just changing the start month. So you can change it to July 1st or October 1st. Uh, but trying to do something like the third Monday of January, that's going to be a bit more complex. You're probably going to want to try and, you know, uh, maybe join your data to a calendar table that you have internally at your company. You can ask around the data folks about that. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always comment here. We can provide a little bit of feedback on that front as well. Uh, but okay, so if we change our fiscal year start to October here, right? Same idea. Now we've been able to uh, you know, same thing, right? Okay, cool. Now I've got my fiscal years displaying down here, but if I wanted to use a different field for something like expected shift date, the uh, fiscal year start will not have affected that. So I could still look at my sales by shift date uh, against the calendar year. Okay, so that's option number two. Now, let me back this out. Now, this is probably one of my favorite methods, which is basically the same as before, but duplicate the field and then apply the fiscal year start to the duplicate of that column. So like order date, maybe I wanna use this as a calendar year sometimes, but sometimes I need fiscal year. So let me right click on my order date field and say duplicate. You should be able to do this to just about any field in Tableau. And now this duplicate copy of order date, I'm gonna rename this to order date FY, okay? And then this one, I will change the fiscal year start to October. Right, and now if I do that thing where I bring it out here and I'm looking at sales by year, sweet. I can look at it and see, hey, in FY 2020, we had $155,000 of sales. But if there was some other question about, well, you know, what about, um, what about calendar year 2020? That was actually $280,000 worth of sales. So there's a bit of a difference there, right? So now I've got the flexibility to utilize both. So those are kind of the three main methods. Now I do wanna tell you about one more. I'm gonna tell you about a different resource that we put out. Uh, in the description below, I'll put a link to this. We have a video called Fiscal Year to Date versus Prior Year Fiscal Year to Date in Tableau. If you're ever gonna be referencing your fiscal year in your calculation, you may wanna utilize a little bit of a different method. Okay, um, so let me pop over to this worksheet and to show you what I mean. And really quick before we do that, I just wanna say, hey, if, if you get stuck on any of this or this is kind of helpful, but your situation's a little different, always reach out to us. But you can also just book direct to work with us. Uh, we'll put an uh, info button up here, here, there, wherever. Description, comments, info button, it'll be everywhere. I'll put a link to our office hours. So if you ever just wanna you know, book some time to work one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we could do that too. So. The last thing I was going to show you is a sort of a calculated way to do this would be, okay, I'm going to go to order date, create a calculated field. I'll call this order date, um, you know, fiscal year, October start. So how I, how I may want to do this is to say something like uh, date add month comma three comma order date. So add three months to my order date. So what was October 1st would become January 1st. And so you might say, why are we doing that? Well, watch this. I'm just going to write a really basic calculation. 
using the old version of the FY field that we created, where we only change the fiscal year start via the default properties. So if I said something like, okay, create a calculated field, and you know, does the year of my order date equal uh, 2021? Okay. Um, FY 2021, calc to false. How about that? Okay, did this work? Well, let's find out. So I'll throw this on my row shelf and then let's grab our order date FY field. Again, just the one where we changed the default properties. Let's throw month year on there. And what is showing up under true? Womp, 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 right? Just January, 2021 through December, 2021. So it didn't understand. It is still using, it's not actually using the FY year. This is utilizing the calendar year. So. The difference would be, what if we did that, but to this field, the October, the order date FY October start, that one we just created a minute ago, where we added three months using the date add function. Where does that equal 2021? And now all of a sudden you can see that October 2020 through September 2021, those are showing as valid under our 2021 calc, right? So that's, uh, well actually look, I wanna pull this up one more time just so you can get a look at it. There you go. That's how you would move. And uh, this would be the, the valid calculation for a fiscal year, which starts in October. So like I said, the fiscal year to date thing, uh, that video is in the link down below. So you can check that out um, if, if you want to dive a little bit deeper on this topic. So thank you for being here. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions, let us know. We drop videos like this every week. So feel free to follow along. And if you want to master Tableau, we have classes every single month. Um, so there's going to be a link to that as well. Uh, we'd love to dive deep with you over the course of two or four days um, to, to really help you, you know, wrap your hands around this tool. It's an awesome and powerful tool, but um, it does take, you know, some effort to master it. So uh, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.